Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is, of course, Catman June. Welcome back, everybody, to another brand new video, guys. Today, of course, we are back on some Minecraft. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be speaking about a video I made a month ago. This video is called Minecraft PlayStation 4 Barrel Condition. How to access servers TU 2.06. Now, if you guys didn't see that video, or if you did see that video, more specifically, if you did, you're definitely going to want to watch this video, guys. Because today, we're going to be giving a bit of an update on that video, talking about if it still works, on how to access servers, and... I guess kind of disputing a few rumors are flowing around right now about the video itself. So to begin with guys, if you didn't watch the video, I basically showed you how to access servers on PlayStation 4 through a, I guess, third party. The third party was by using an app called Minecraft Proxy Dedicated Servers on PlayStation 4 slash Xbox. The app itself was an incredible app. It was a very, very, very good app and it had a bit of an exploit that allowed you to be able to, of course, use it for an unlimited amount of time. If you use a trial version, which is the one that I pretty much showcased and the one I'm using right now in fact or that will be used right now in a minute and um, if you use the actual app itself the trial version you could only play for about 10 minutes on a server before it disconnected you and then you'd have to reload it and do it again you'd only have about 10 minutes to, well it's not about you'd only have 10 minutes specifically of playtime and then you would be disconnected however if you bought the full version you would have unlimited time but we thankfully found of course a exploit to be able to play it forever now when i say we it was actually found by a, a guy called ampal pascal um, or pasky i believe it is how you say his name and um, he's another awesome youtuber and whatnot but him and myself were the two biggest content creators to of course cover these methods on how to obviously access servers on ps4 now since my video obviously we've you know has accumulated over 80,000 views it's been a little over a month but the actual creator of the app himself has updated the app and changed it and some people believe that he's changed it so that you can now no longer access the unlimited time exploit and additionally on top of that as well he obviously isn't very happy about it now i'm going to kind of yeah i guess dispute a good few things about that in just a minute guys so the first thing i want to jump into right at the very beginning of this video guys is if this still works or if it doesn't to be specific it definitely still does so right now right here i'm on my phone screen you guys can see me you know flipping back and forth i'm going to obviously go into mine you know the minecraft proxy of course you know trial version basically uh, for the app that we were just speaking about there obviously minecraft land proxy dedicated servers you guys can see right here of course i've got my server address i've got the port i'm going to delete the port itself and then where the server address is i'm going to delete that right here right now and then just paste in the actual code that you use to get unlimited time on any server now the way this works isn't how some people believe it works some people have a very weird misconception that you know this is actually an exploit that this guy who made the app actually himself made when in reality that could not be further from the truth this is actually through a even more kind of third party kind of thing. This is a fourth party now um, that allows you to be able to access servers via him and via obviously PlayStation 4. It's very complicated and very weird, but basically, when you put in the code 104.238.130.180, it gives you a list of servers. So obviously you guys can see right there, it's in server address. I'm gonna click stop, obviously, because I've got something run right now, it's stopping it. I'm gonna click start. And when I click start, you'll see an advertisement pop up. The reason why advertisements are popping up, if you don't already know, is not because the, the owner of the app himself is you know money hungry or whatever you wanna call it. It's just because he has to earn something from the app itself. And with this exploit, obviously, 18 thousand people are now taking advantage of it or at least somewhat 80,000 people are so it's obviously one of those things it's only fair if you can take advantage of it now you can see right here this is something a lot of players were telling me about right now when you actually use this code there is a message that pops up on the screen it's not telling you that the code doesn't work but it's a message from the creator of the application himself saying you are bypassing the trial limitation uh, by using a serverless server and that's the actual like name of what it is a serverless server please consider buying the full version of the app to support me the sole developer i've spent time and money making this app so that you can enjoy playing servers before the official release thank you and enjoy playing he put special note the server list server is not affiliated with this app it is unsta uh, unstable sorry uh, it is an unstable server that is often down and unavailable i am not blocking the server list intentionally uh, if you're having trouble with this please try to reconnect or try to connect to a server directly i.e and of course the address and then the play dot of course net and the actual port as well now what he's saying right there is something that i don't know how players have kind of misconstrued but it's the reason why i'm making today's video because it is something that has been heavily misconstrued P people keep seeing this error message and somehow believing that that means that he is completely and utterly not allowing 
servers or not allowing you people to play on servers because you're using this kind of exploit. If you look in the screen right now on my main screen, I'm clicking play. You guys will see if I go across to friends, go down. Look at that, join to open server list. It still works 100,000% guys. He's not blocking a single thing. All he's doing is informing you the way this actually works and that he isn't blocking. Again, I've spoke to this guy personally and this is what I just want to speak about in today's video, right? So you guys will see right here, I'm going to generate world. This might not work because I've kind of been sitting on home screen for a little while. Um, but you guys can see, I mean, right there, right now, it says the Hive, Mineplex, Cubecraft Games, Lifeboat Network, Mineville. All the servers and all the featured servers, to be specific, are all right there. Now, a few people were asking me in my previous video as well, if you can connect to other servers using this for unlimited amounts of time. Of course you can. All you gotta do is click connect to a server. And then from here, all you gotta do is put in the actual server IP and of course port. Now, obviously I can do it right there. That's, you know, why this is a, uh, I guess happening, there's no, <laughs> there's no word for it. If you, if you get stuck like this in like a weird kind of limbo kind of mode, when you're here, you can't really do anything. All you gotta do is quickly just save and exit and leave the game and then, you know, load it back up and it should work for a second time. Just keep doing the exact same until you get it working, all right? Um, if that does happen to you and whatnot. But yeah, if you wanna connect to your own different kind of server as opposed to the five featured servers, all you've got to do is click this, join it, click connect the server and put in the IP and port of the server that you wish to join. That's all you've got to do, right? But moving on from here, I'm going to just try and join the Hive just to prove that you can definitely still connect to servers and it all still works. And then we're going to move across to the next kind of point, um, which I guess is going to be more talking about what the creator thinks about this video and what he thinks or what he thinks about our previous video and uh, what he actually is like. Because there's a few people that keep having this weird misconception that the creator of the app himself is just some sort of really bad guy who doesn't care and he's just money hungry and I, I really was meaning to make this video sooner that's why I'm, I'm making it now but I can assure everybody I spoke to the creator a few days I believe after my video dropped and I don't know if Ampal Pasky, the, the original finder of this actually spoke to him personally himself but I personally did and I can tell you for a fact the creator isn't a bad guy he, he really 100% isn't he, he's not a bad guy at all he's just someone who spent a lot of time and a lot of money making an application that costs money that is now no longer obviously earning money if players keep using the illegitimate very Versions. Now, I saw a comment as well, and I'm going to read this out right now. It's from Norman Ravis. I think that's how you say his name, or Norman Ravis. I, I do apologize if I'm saying it wrong. He put, it doesn't, or it doesn't work no longer. The owner says when you put in the IP, you are bypassing the trial limitation by using a server list. Please consider buying the full version of the app to support me, etc, etc. Also, it doesn't even work if you pay for it. Trust me, I paid for it, lol. And the actual creator of the application himself, and they genuinely is the creator of this guy himself here, says it works works, it's just the serverless server is down or very unstable right now. Trust me, I made the app, but I'm not associated with whoever is hosting the serverless server. Try the server and then of course, he put in the actual, just a random server, of course, IP, and I don't, he doesn't need a port for that one, but a random server IP instead, and you will see that it works. The text does not block you from access to the server, just reminds you that someone spent time making an app. And this is something that I felt like people genuinely were kind of not noticing about this person who made this app. He is a genuine person, and he, he genuinely cares about the players. He made this, of course, as a, a form of obviously helping the players, and it definitely has been. It's been helping a lot of people, obviously, over the past month. Now, I I spoke to the man himself, the actual creator of the app personally through my Facebook page and uh, with his own personal, of course, Facebook account, which I'm, I'm bleeping out so you can't see his actual profile photo or anything like that. Um, but he spoke to me through Facebook and asked, you know, I obviously had to ask him a few questions of how this all kind of worked because like a lot of us, obviously, it's a little bit of a confusing kind of thing. And I myself was quite confused. He basically said, thanks for your response. I believe it is bypassed with a bug slash function within Minecraft itself, where a server can forward you to another server and thus you're no longer connected via proxy but directly to another server so it's so, sorry so it really is a bug within minecraft and not a glitch in the app that was used i have no hard feelings against anyone and again complete gentleman like with his text now i just want to remind everybody if you were in his position how would you be uh, for me when i first got the messages from this guy i was kind of a little bit you know skeptical because this is a man who's put his own money and her time into something that someone else has just basically exploited and shown to the entire world. And I mean, I've showed 80,000 people. I would be a little bit miffed off myself, but the guy genuinely isn't a bad guy. Now, moving on from here, he ended up sending me another message as well because I was a little bit more confused on um, something that I obviously heard about, of course, which was the inability to connect to servers with the server list anymore. And he kind of, did, I guess, 
was what he kind of, I guess, divulged a little bit more information that he found out himself. So let's have a quick read at that. He put, hi, if I'm not mistaken, no one is doing this with the intent of stopping players from using servers. The serverless server is a dedicated bedrock server created and hosted for free by a guy called Pugmat. I don't know him, just Google this information. So he is not to blame here. I guess, or my guess, is that the server he is hosting might not have 100% uptime because it is free and his server might not have the resource to handle a lot of players uh, but the exact why it doesn't work at times I do not know I, he said I do now know but I do not know I'm sure is what he meant to say the app itself still works with any dedicated bedrock server ie public servers like play obviously of course and server IP and then obviously the you know the port or that you can host yourself so just to kind of clear the air completely and utterly here that's the reason why I'm making this video this application still does work 100,000% I can guarantee and confirm that to everybody obviously you still need PlayStation Plus a lot of people were kind of I don't know how but confused that during my previous video and uh, if you're one of those people yes you do need playstation plus to play on this guys xbox 360 or xbox one sorry users that are playing on minecraft need xbox live gold and of course if they're on i believe it's nintendo switch they need a, i think it's nintendo live or something whatever they're kind of online services as well so you will need of course your online playstation plus now additionally as well if your server doesn't you know load right away and this happens for a few players if you're trying this application out on your android phone because it only works for androids and the server does doesn't load right away all you have simply got to do is close your application and reload it back up and it should work the second time around or third or fourth just keep trying now as i said folks i really was meaning to make this video a lot sooner i really do feel bad that i didn't make this video you know right away as opposed to you know a month after my initial video went up and whatnot but i did want to make this video fully covering everything that we know right now and letting you guys know fully that this application and this kind of little i guess method to get outside of course of the actual i guess restrictions that we have on playstation 4 and being able to use PlayStation 4 servers is amazing and it still does 100% work. Now, additionally, on top of that as well, folks, I'd like to just say, please do buy this man's full application. If you cannot be bothered and you don't want to have to use this, you know, trial version or whatnot and get 10 minutes in, or if you do use the code and it's still a little bit too frustrating using that, please do consider buying this application from this guy. This is no spade, you know, that, no, it's no spade. This is no paid, you know, kind of sponsorship or anything like that. I'm just saying genuinely as a content creator to, you know, I guess another content creator, and that's what he is. He's making content of his own, but it's a lot more higher grade than mine. Please go buy it, guys. Um, I saw a lot of people in the comment section kind of arguing with each other and even with him as well, which was really insulting to see about how the, they should, I guess, download it via, I think it's Aploid or something like that. Basically an external site that allows you to download the full versions of apps for free please don't do that um like he said himself there could be malware in there you know and those kind of things if you buy or download the i guess the full version for free via external sites yes you might get it for free but additionally as well you might get some malware or some kind of dangerous stuff in your computers or your phones which a lot of you have, of course i'm sure do not want so please guys genuinely buy it from the content creator himself the guy only charges like two dollars or two pounds something like that it's not a lot of money guys and he 100 deserves it he created an amazing application that definitely is useful i personally still use it and all the gameplay you guys should be seeing right now as well i obtained and got via using it as well so for a you know two dollars 39 pence it's hardly a lot of money to cough up to help another guy out who's been helping us all out be able to play servers early so you guys anyway folks thank you for watching today's video i just really wanted to cover this kind of news because it's been a long time coming and um, if you guys did go to enjoy it please be sure to go drop like and of course doing the channel as well please be sure to subscribe and uh, if you guys obviously want to help out a lot be sure to share the video with your friends and family we are currently marching our way right now guys to 34,000 and subscribers that's my channel goal so uh yeah man it'd be awesome to get there a little bit quicker and with all your support and love i'm, I'm sure we can guys stay safe stay healthy guys stay awesome and i'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching and you guys peace out